सो हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम पार्टीशन इक्वल सबसेट सम सो लेट्स रीड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट आउट सो वी आर गिवन एन एरे ऑफ साइज एन चेक इफ इट कैन बी पार्टीशन इन टू टू पार्ट सच डैट सम ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन बोथ पार्ट इज सेम सो बेसिकली फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ माई एरे इज वन फाइव अलेवन एंड फाइव आई कैन पार्टीशन डैट इन टू टू सबसेट्स बेसिकली वन फाइव फाइव this whose sum is going to be 11 and the other part is going to be 11 itself so if you observe the sum of the two subsets is going to be same so we can partition that array into two subsets whose sum is going to be same so we will give the output as yes similarly if you take an array 135 we can't partition that into two subsets so my answer is going to be no now the expected time complexity for this is going to be n cross sum of elements and the expected space complexity is also going to be n cross sum of elements so i hope you have understood the problem statement so let's discuss the problem in more detail so let's say my array is like this 1 5 11 and 5 now if you observe if i need to divide the array in two parts so the two parts individual sum can be odd and odd right this can be even this can be even okay only these cases will be considered right why because if you take one odd element and one even element and again if you take one even and one odd the sum is not going to be equal right so we will not consider these cases now if you consider these two cases overall the sum of my array is going to be even right so my first check will be whether the sum of the array is going to be even or not if it is even then there is a possibility that we can divide the array into two subsets right so here the sum is going to be 1 plus 5 is 6 11 17 and 22 so we can hope ki is array ke liye hamara answer ho sakta hai possible right but if you take the other example like 1 3 uski sum kitni thi 9 क्या तुम नाइन को डिवाइड कर सकते हो यहाँ पे दो इक्वल पार्ट्स में नहीं तो अवर आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी फॉल्स फॉर दिस केसेस राइट वेयर द सम ऑफ द एर इज नॉट इवन तो ठीक है अभी तक तो क्लियर होगा नाउ लेट से माय एर इज वन फाइव अलेवन एंड फाइव ठीक है एंड वो सम इज गोइंग टू बी ट्वेंटी टू सो क्या मैं ऐसा कर सकता हूँ कि आई कैन फाइंड अलेवन इन दिस एरे राइट right. बिकॉज तुम्हें क्या करना है इस एरे को दो पार्ट्स में डिवाइड करना है राइट सो ऑब्वियसली दोनों पार्ट का सम इक्वल होने के लिए बोथ द पार्ट्स सम शुड बी अलेवन सो आई कैन फाइंड अलेवन इन दिस एरे राइट एंड इफ वी आर एबल टू फाइंड अलेवन इन दिस एरे वी विल बी रिटर्निंग अ ट्रू सो हाउ कैन वी फाइंड अलेवन लेस डिस्कस डैट नो बिफोर मूविंग ऑन यू शुड नो अबाउट वॉट इज अ सबसेट एंड वॉट इज अ सब एरे सो सबसेट आर अ non contiguous or it can be contiguous also that is not necessary but it is a part of the array for example 1 11 is going to be a subset but agar hum log sub array ki baat karte hain to that is a continuous part so 1 5 11 is going to be a subset theek hai to hame kya karna hai isse hame 11 find karna hai ki hum log bana pa rahe hain ya nahi to how can we find that basically subset banane ke liye either you can pick one element or you don't pick one element right so let's say this is my array of picked elements my i will be pointing to zero initially my sum is going to be 11 because that is my required sum that i am finding for let's say i pick the first element okay so my first element is going to be 1 my i will move to one step forward because i have picked one element and my sum will now reduce to 10 because 11 minus 1 is going to be 10 similarly if i would have not picked that element my i will have moved one step forward right and my sum will be 11 only because we have not picked anything let's say we pick 5 correct so let's say we pick 5 my i will move to 2 and my required sum will be 5 only okay now let's say we pick can we pick this 11 no because our required sum right is going to be 
smaller than the this 11 so we will not pick it and we will simply return a 0 from here okay now one case can arise here like we can have skipped this 11 so 1 5 I will move to 3 and my required sum is going to be 5 only right now what if I pick the another 5 I can pick the last 5 my I will move to 4 and my sum is going to be 0 okay and my length of array was 4 so as soon as you hit a point where your sum is going to be 0 and you have reached a point where i is equal to n i can definitely return a true because i have find a subset whose sum is going to be 11 right so we can simply return a 1 from here okay or you can return a true and the other case was we could we couldn't have picked that 5 so my i will move to 4 and my required sum will be 5 as soon as you hit a point which is equal to n and your sum is not 0 you will return a false correct and here we can return a 1 to our parent why because from the right subtree we were able to find a sum so other cases here can arise like we have picked 1 and here we have picked 5 so let's say we don't pick a 5 here for the right subtree let's say can we pick 11 no because my required sum is going to be 10 so let's say we didn't pick the 11 let's say can we pick 5 either you can pick or not pick but in the end ultimately you are going to get a false why because my required sum is not achieved right similarly for the right subtree there will be a case like you have not picked 1 5 and 5 and you have picked 11 only right so from that case also you will be getting a 1 so either from the left subtree overall we will be getting a 1 because we are getting a 1 right and here we will be getting a 1 so I can find that it is possible to get 11 so which was our required sum so I can return true. So I hope this recursion tree is clear to you. Let's take a smaller test case to understand it better. So let's say we take a array as 2 comma 2. Okay, can we partition it? Yes, we know. But let's start our discussion so that you can get a better clarity. So let's say my i is going to be 0 and my sum was 2, right? Because we will be finding for the let's say its sum is sum okay so i need to partition that into two parts so i will be looking for sum by two right so let's say we pick the first two okay i will move to one my sum will reduce to zero as soon as you hit a point where sum is going to be zero aage tum kuch elements pick mat karo you will be getting a true right so no need to go further similarly Let's say we have not picked 2 pick nahi kara. Hai? So array will be empty. I will move to one step forward. Required sum is going to be 2. Now we can pick this 2. Right. My i will move to 2 and sum is going to be 0. As soon as you hit a point where sum is going to 0, you will be returning a true. Similarly, here you don't pick anything. You will return a false. Ultimately, we do a or operation for these two we get a true and from the left subtree we are getting a true from the right subtree we are getting a true so we will be returning a or for both the left subtree and right subtree right now here if you observe we are using recursion okay and we can have overlapping sub problem so how to overcome that we use a dp okay so just like in the last video what are the parameters which are changing here basically my index is changing my sum is changing the maximum value of i can be n the maximum value of sum can be sum right so we will be making a dp array of size n plus 1 and sum plus 1 okay and initially you can initialize it with minus 1 why n plus 1 and sum plus 1 because in the 0th index we generally handle the base cases right 
so we can store our answer in the dp and we can check every time if it has been already calculated we will be using it and no need to call the recursion further okay so how our recursive function will look like let's say i is my parameter basically it will be denoting the index n we will be requiring we will be requiring array we will be requiring a sum and let's say dp okay if at any point of time if sum is going to be zero means we have achieved what we are what we were trying to so we can return a one in that case okay at any point of time if my i is greater than n or my sum is going to be lesser than zero we can return a false right so these are the boundary conditions if my answer is already calculated for ith index and the sum okay if it is not equal to minus one we can simply return this okay dp of i sum right otherwise we will be having two cases first is the pick case where we can pick a element right so my i will move to one step forward array will be as it is and will be n my sum now will be reduced by array of i and here dp what will be the non pick case basically if if i didn't pick any element i can move to one step forward array will be as it is and sum will be sum only because we didn't pick any element so it will not affect our sum and dp in the end what we can do we can do a or whether we were able to pick or not pick the most important thing is are we able to make that sum right if from both the recursive cases we get a true we return a true and we store it in our dp of i sum okay so the time complexity for this is going to be order of n cross sum because these much states can be possible in the dp so there is a easy way by which you can check the time complexity for dp solutions so sabse pehle check karo ki kon kon se parameters change ho raha hai basically i change ho raha tha sum change ho raha tha theek hai i ki maximum value kitni n sum ki maximum value kitni sum dono ko aapas mein multiply kar do theek hai let's say yahan pe koi bhi n parameters hote तो सब आपस में मल्टीप्लाई होते जाता और डीपी अपना पैसा बनता ठीक है लेट से यहाँ पे कोई एक्स भी आ जाता ठीक है तो डीपी हमारा थ्री डी डी बन रहा होता एंड यहाँ पे हम एक्स को मल्टीप्लाई कर देते हैं ठीक है तो इस क्वेश्चन के लिए हमारा टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑर्डर ऑफ एन क्रॉस सम हो जाएगा स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी एन क्रॉस सम वाई बिकॉज वी आर यूजिंग अ डी पी आर स्पेस इज गोइंग टू बी एन क्रॉस सम सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द एक्सप्लेनेशन let's see the implementation so first of all we have taken a total sum which will be initially zero we can sum up all the elements of the array so if my total sum is not going to be even means we can't divide the array into two parts of equal sums my target sum is going to be total sum by 2 because agar humne let's say 22 tha agar humne 11 find kar liya so we can say ki ha hum divide kar sakte hain array ko two parts mein right क्योंकि अगर एक पार्ट 11 है तो दूसरा ऑब्वियसली 11 होगा ठीक है एंड वी कैन यूज अ हेल्पर मेथड बेसिकली आई विल बी जीरो आई विल पास द टारगेट सम एरे एन एन डी पी राइट नाउ व्हाट माय हेल्पर फंक्शन इज डूइंग इफ माय सम इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो मींस वी हैव गॉट द रिक्वायर्ड सॉल्यूशन वी कैन रिटर्न अ ट्रू ओके इफ आई इज गोइंग टू बी ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू एन और सम इज गोइंग टू बी लेस देन जीरो मीन्स वी हैव क्रॉस द बाउंड्रीज we need to return a false if the state is already calculated for i and sum okay we can return that no need to call recursion further otherwise there will be a pick case so if we pick any element i will move to one step forward sum will be reduced by array of i array n and dp if we don't pick a element my i will again move to one step forward sum will remain as it is array n and dp and in the end we can pick or of both of them and we can store that in our answer 
सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व दिस प्रॉब्लम वॉज सिमिलर टू आवर प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम विच वॉज परफेक्ट सम प्रॉब्लम वेयर वी नीड टू फाइंड ऑल द पॉसिबल वेज जिससे हम एक सम को अचीव कर सकते हैं राइट बट इन दिस केस वी वेर जस्ट टोल्ड कि हम एरे को पार्टीशन कर सकते हैं कि नहीं हमने सेम कॉन्सेप्ट यूज किया है जो वहां पे यूज किया था अगर तुमने वो वीडियो नहीं देखा है तो आई विल प्रोवाइड द लिंक टू डैट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ यू हैव अंडरस्टोड कमेंट योर डाउट्स इफ यू हैव एनी शेयर अमॉन्ग योर फ्रेंड्स एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग गाइज